big issue right now is his relationship with Putin and Russia. Why is he so friendly to Putin? Why is he so open-minded to let Putin do what he wants to do? Mm -hmm. And I think, and I would like to predict, as we, you and I did uh, last time I was on your show, and I want to remind you that everything that we talked about and predicted in the, in the last show really have happened. So let's predict what's going to happen in the next few months. I believe that the investigation will show that Trump has mega ties into Putin. They have uh, big pressure on him um, uh, financially and who know what else. Um, they are good if you watch the news lately in the last 48 hours. Some of the senators, some of the uh, anchor people on, on CNN and some others have used two words that we haven't heard before, which I talked about many times before, impeachment and treason. And treason is really something that um, is going to probably convince his followers that something is wrong with what he's doing and how he behaved during the election. Mm -hmm. But now, what is so wrong with a United States policy that, that is actually more in collaboration with Russia, which is obviously a Nothing major power wrong. in your age? Nothing is wrong if the collaboration is based on real, open dialogue, cooperation, identifying spots of problems and, and tension around the world. How are we going to solve it together? Um, we still have to need deal with uh, Russians' expansion in, into the Ukraine and so on. This is an issue that needs to be discussed. It cannot be a negotiation where Russia is blackmailing our president because they have something on him. Right. He's not coming into those negotiations, and he could be as good as a negotiator as that he claims he is. He, this is a poker game where he lost all the cards and putting holds not only the ace, but holds the entire deck. 